Howdy friends, it's Mike Parsons here with Bluegrass with Friends and told my niece Tessa after I taught her blue, uh, Devil's Dream last week, two weeks ago, that I would make her a video and as usual, it takes me a week or two to get stuff done. Anyhow, here's a little Devil's Dream for you and then I'll slow it down and make it easier to learn, okay? It's in the key of A. Now, don't be too intimidated. I've been playing this thing for a long time. And the great thing about the fiddle is getting to play it fast. And that's part of the pure enjoyment of bluegrass music. Because once you got your 10,000 repeti uh, repetitions in, why, you can play the stuff fast. And it's, it's pretty darn fun. All right. So let's just explore this song, okay? So it's in the key of A. So the first thing you want to do is play an A scale. Why would you play a scale? So you know the shape that your fingers are going to be in. For instance, this is, uses open A, the high position first finger, the high position second finger, and the low position third finger. And then the open E string, a high position first, high position second, high and low position third. So this is really generally the first scale shape that you learn on a violin. Uh, if you do that same thing over here, it's a G scale. Do it on the D string. D scale. If you do it on the A string, it's an A scale. Now, it I define my scales by the finger that they start on. This one starts on the open string. The open string is also the fourth finger of the string below it. Uh, that's the low for, fourth finger position. So this is an A. So if you learn to play that scale with no open strings, it becomes what we call a closed scale. And then it's movable. If I want to play in the key of B, might not be perfectly in tune, but you get what I'm after here. B or even the key of C. All right, so you get what I'm doing here. What I just played was a harm, a uh, ascending scale in thirds, but that's a whole different video. All right, so we just determined that this is the fourth finger or open string starting shape. And that, the thing that defines that is where the half step comes. It's between the second and third fingers here. All right, so blah, blah, blah. Enough of that music theory sort of thing. Let's talk about this, how the song actually starts. It starts on the open E, which is the fifth note in the scale. Okay, one, three, five are the notes that make a chord. So one, two, three. So A, C sharp, and E. Those are the different notes to make a chord. So an A chord is the open A and E strings. That's kind of what you hear people playing a lot of when they do the uh, run pony or uh, taters. I'm, I'm from Idaho, so we call them taters. One potato, two potato, three potato, four potato. Okay. But, or you could play C sharp and E. Chords, 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 that's a whole bunch of stuff. We want to get to the song, all right? So here we go, fifth note, and then one, and then one which is also eight.
that down really quickly. You start with the open E, up bow, and then A, G sharp, A, E, A, G sharp, A, E, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, okay? One more time. So stop and repeat that part 10 times, okay? Slow the video down if you need to. If you can't get it at first, slow the video down. Just listen to it 10 times and, and watch and try and catch on, okay? That helps. Getting it into your head first is really the trick to this. If you're trying to learn a song that you're not familiar with and how it sounds, then you're making it twice as hard as it needs to be. Okay, so after that, it ends on C sharp. You go directly to D, and this is a tricky part. So when I put my third finger down on the D note, I also put my first finger down on both strings, B and F sharp, okay? So what's going on here is you're going D, F sharp, B, 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 F sharp. So if you don't have that finger on both strings, then you end up trying to do this. No, no, no. Just put your finger on both strings, okay? So it does that three times. D, F sharp, B, F sharp, and then you do a walk down from A to E. And start again. Three times of that. Same way the first part uh, had that lick in here. But now we go to the finishing lick. D, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, B, A, B, A. C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, A. Let's do that again. F sharp, E, D, C, D, A, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, B, A. Okay, that's one thing that I didn't cover when I did the scale was the fact that this has the high third finger over here on this part of the A scale. The low A scale uses high first finger, high second finger, high third finger, and low fourth. Same thing on the next string. So when we play this, we got to have that G sharp and E and that, and B, I'm sorry, G sharp and B, and that gives you an E chord right there. All right, so that's the first part. Stop and play each section 10 times and then put them together. Now for the B part. Go A, C sharp, E. I told you the wrong note. E, C sharp, E, A, E, C sharp, E, A, E, C sharp, E, A, E, F sharp, E, D. Remember that from the first part? And then we're back to D and F sharp and B and F sharp from the first part. Up to A. Walk down just like in the first part. C sharp E A. C sharp E A. E C sharp. F sharp E D. And then the finishing riff. D F sharp E. And then all you need is an outro, an ending. Let me show you that ending. Started with the triplet. A, G, so that's E, F sharp, G, three notes in a row. A, G, A, E, F, A, G, F, if that's the exact one I played, but that'll work. And then 
A, C, B, A, F sharp, E. So that's an A flat. And then an A. All right. Call it G sharp if you want. All right. Now we need to run over the chords of this song. Uh, let me see. The most used chords in the key are one, four, and five. This particular song uses, uh, well, the old fashioned way is simply one and five. Da, 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 Same thing on both parts. But in all actuality, this is more or less a B minor chord here that we're playing. Without going into all the blah, blah, blah music theory of this, since it's a B and we're in the key of A, we're going to call it the two minor chord because it's the second note in the scale. And it's a minor chord, meaning the third has been flatted from where B, a B note would normally be. Okay. Not too much of this blah, blah, blah. Just trust me, it's A and B minor are the chords. And then five. So that's B minor and then a quick E right there on the end. And then back to one again. Two minor. Five, one. Same thing on the B part. Two minor, five, one. Two minor, five, one. All right, so I was just doing a run pony rhythm pattern. You can choose any rhythm pattern that you'd like. You can be like, um, chucks are good, often played on the fiddle when the mandolin takes the melody. The fiddle often jumps in and does a one, two, three, four. slow pace so that y'all can keep up, right? Thanks a lot. Have a good one now.